we humans, we humanize everything, which means we can't be made loyal to things, no matter how good they are, no matter how great they are. We can't be loyal to a service, no matter how great it is. But what does every business in the world do? Every business in the world promotes and glorifies their, their product, their service. This is what we do. You know, we build quality furniture or, or, you know, we design great websites. And that might be true, but they're saying these things, fully realizing that there are other businesses out there they compete against that do the exact same things that they do equally, equally well. So what they're saying is we're a commodity and loyalty eludes commodities. Okay, because we, we can spot them a mile away. The mistake these businesses are making is saying, we want to be known for what we do. And being known for what you do ultimately works against you because the truth of the matter is, we're not loyal to things. We're loyal to the people, the passion, the energy, the commitment, the warmth, the trust, the comfort, the believability, the stories behind the thing. We're loyal to people. So if we're going to be a successful business or a successful person within a business and we want people to be loyal to us, that means that what people know about us and say about us has to transcend what we do to get to the heart of who we are, because that's what they're going to remember. And the secret word, the secret ingredient that makes that happen is Delight, D-E-L-I-G-H-T. When we delight someone as a business or as individuals within a business, we reap spectacular rewards because there's a very simple and very beautiful little quirk of human behavior here. And it says, what do all humans do to any source of delight in their lives? And the answer is we seek it out and we return to it faithfully until it fails to delight us. What did I just do? I just defined what loyalty is. 